Republican gubernatorial candidate Stephen Wagesback joined England Air Park administrators for a look at how the air park impacts the local economy and what's on its horizon. Look, Central Louisiana is a huge piece of Louisiana's economic puzzle. So I wanted to come here and get a feel from folks on the, on the front lines. What are the true opportunities? What are the strengths and weaknesses? How can the state be a better partner? And I'm doing this through every region of the state. And, you know, just got a briefing on the, on the facility here. Lots of potential here. Obviously, as we put more warehousing in, as we look to attract more economic development here. England Air Park has 60 businesses employing more than 2,000 people, and Executive Director Ralph Hennessy says one of the latest successes is a company called UCOR, which will be housing a manufacturing facility on site. It's a 80,000 square foot facility that's going to be used for uh, the processing of rare earth metals into a, a usable product for um, the technology sector. Another winning component of the air park is their community center, which stays busy. We have things uh, booked throughout the year, uh, res wedding receptions, Mardi Gras balls, business banquets, um, a variety of other meetings that, that are uh, taking place there. Alexandria International Airport transports more than 200,000 passengers per year through Delta and American Airlines. United Airlines recently left during COVID, but administrators are trying to bring back the carrier. England Air Park is also an important supporter of Fort Johnson in Leesville. 70,000 troops per year fly through the facility. We're really the, the springboard for them to, to leap off into to, to get to Fort Johnson. And so they, they lease about 400 acres uh, here with us. The air park is home to the intermediate staging base for the U.S. Army's Fort Johnson, providing realistic combat training for troops. In a battle scenario, England could play the part of a friendly country, while Fort Johnson plays the part of a threatening country. Hennessy says the air park shares the statewide need for additional warehouse space and they are seeking money from the state to build some, which would come in useful in a hurricane situation. The facility has been used as a staging area for past storms. We're far enough inland where we don't really see a lot of the, the, the damaging winds and, and whatnot, uh, but, but close enough to where within a couple hours uh, release supplies can be shipped out and, and in the necessary communities within a relatively short period. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.